All right, we need to assemble the ball joints. It's two pieces, the inner piece and then the housing for it. Uh, you're gonna need to do this 12 times. There's two packages that have these pieces in there. Uh, go ahead and assemble all the pieces. The way you do this, you can use a, either a pair of pliers or use a hard surface and the butt end of a, of a tool. Just by placing the ball in inside the hole there, apply some pressure to the top of it. When you hear it pop, pops right in there. You should be able to move it, move it freely while it's inside there. That tells you it's good to go. Next we'll assemble the rollers. You're going to have nine rollers total that you're going to build which consists of the, low, the outer roller piece, two bearings, and the precision shim. Real simple, put a bearing down, place the plastic on top, push it down, lay your precision shim inside, centered, put your bearing on top, press it down, and should line up. If it doesn't line up perfectly inside the middle, just stick the end of a screwdriver in there to line it up so that way it's lined up. Now we're ready to build the arm holders. We're going to be building three sets of these and these are the components for each set. For the plastic pieces we're going to need N, M, and P. Three rollers that we built earlier two ball joints that we built earlier. We're gonna need six sleeve spacers. We'll need three M3 by 10 millimeter bolts, two M3 nuts to go for them, and we need two M3 by 20 bolts with two M3 nuts. We also need three M5 by 35 bolts and three M5 nuts. And lastly, we need one M3 by 35 bolt. All right, first we're gonna use the two M3 by 20 bolts, and we're gonna install them in the middle two holes. Now these are a tight fit, so you're probably gonna have to screw these in. So now we're going to put the M3 nuts onto the end of these two bolts. Make sure they're tightened all the way down and fully, fully tightened. Now you need to pay particular attention to these marks along the, the holes on both ends here. Now these are going to be utilized when you put on the ball joints. Now your ball joints are going to utilize that line to keep your alignment. So you want to keep the alignment of your ball joint straight up and down with that line. You're going to mount this particular one with the M3 by 10 millimeter bolt, like so. Once you get, get it under tight enough, use the screwdriver in to line it up straight with your marks on your hole there. Okay, next is going to be the M5s by 35s. And we're going to utilize these three with our bearings. So we need to place these with a bushing. Make sure you're Center is straight. Then another bushing. So you're going to do this three times. Now we're going to put part P on top and at the same time installing part N with the rounded end going towards the outside. So you're going to use your M5 nuts 
and secure your rollers. You just want to hand tighten these. You don't want to fully tighten these yet. It should look like this at this point. Next we'll do the M3 by 10 millimeter bolts with the M3 nuts and this is going to be that tricky alignment with um, the nut lining up in the hole, holding it in place and tightening your bolt. Make sure you fully tighten these. Being careful not to over tighten, just snug. Now we have left is the ball joint and the M3 by 35 bolt. The ball joint is going to be on the same side as the other ball okay. joint. And remember to line it up with your hash marks so it stays straight. It's really easy to go too tight on this one. As you can see, this part has room for flex. So you want to be careful not to over tighten this. Just get it nice and snug. Nothing more. This is what it should look like once it's completed. All right, you know you're pointing in the right direction when your ball joints are pointing to the inside. Once you have the arm holder attached to the post, you want to install an M3 by 10 millimeter bolt into the front open hole. Now you have to do this to all three of the arm holders. Make sure that the bolt once screwed in is evenly flush with the bottom of the plastic. That way all three of them are evenly spaced to the proper height. You can feel when the, the bolt begins to protrude from the bottom by placing your finger and feeling for it underneath. Once you feel it that'd be the correct depth. 